I honestly think 75 is going to be pretty slow. I think everybody's, you can see those people are probably going over 80. And you can see this lane is ending. And look at my car is slowly moving over. There's a barrel in the lane. Oh, and the car avoids it. Okay, so we had um, steering screw up. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is episode, I think 12, kind of losing track. We're on the newest software, 2019.40.1.1. And I think this will be pretty interesting. We're heading towards Detroit down I-75. We're currently going through downtown Holly. But once we get on the highway, I'm going to attempt to turn on autopilot. I'm not sure how many miles it is. Um, probably around 20 miles of highway driving or so. And I will try to turn on autopilot and let the car drive me from on-ramp to off-ramp without interacting at all so I will set my speed I'll set my following distance and then from there on out the car is gonna handle all the lane changes and everything until we get to our off-ramp the car will do that and if the car can do that uh, then that's awesome I'm gonna give it a grade after there will be a poll at the end of the video so make sure you vote in the poll uh, I think it pops up on the top of the screen you pick your letter grade let me know how you think the car did I'm usually pretty strict uh, but I like when you guys vote because Usually you disagree with me, and that's fine. I'm interested in what you think. It's 33 miles. 33? 98 to 65. Oh. Okay, so 33 miles on the highway, so that's pretty good. So this update brought more confident and better lane changes. We're on Mad Max, mostly because the update says Mad Max is what gets those improvements. Another thing that I've heard is the max speed limit. So autopilot max speed limit used to be 90 miles per hour. I heard that's gone. Uh, I don't really believe it, but we're gonna test it. I'll just get behind somebody so that I can't actually go that fast. What? We're gonna test it? No, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get behind somebody so that the car won't actually go that fast, but I'll increase it and see if in this little blue circle if that'll go above 90, because this used to be limited to 90. So let's get on the highway and see if autopilot can go on-ramp to off-ramp, just like Tesla advertises. So let's turn on autopilot once it's available. And then I will set all my settings. So I usually go about 78. Um, well, I'll have to set that when we get on the highway. 75 is the max for now. And following distance, I usually do two. So we can stick with that. Can we just do 75? 75, yeah. All right, so 75. And so let me put this camera up for you. So the car is getting on without indicating. Uh, I'm not sure, do you, do you need a turn signal when you get on, merge onto the highway? I don't know, um, but it didn't use one. so. We're on the highway here, and I honestly think 75 is gonna be pretty slow. I think everybody's, you can see, those people are probably going over 80. Um, so we probably won't be doing much passing, but we will see how the car handles it. Actually, you know what? Let's test right now our 90 mile per hour thing. It just takes a second. So 90, no, so the 90 limit is still there. Okay, so we got a lane change already. It sees that I guess this car's going a little slow. And wow, yeah, that lane change was actually pretty aggressive. Uh, moved over into this lane, kind of harsh, um, but good. I mean, it was really good and confident, kind of just like the release notes explained. Okay, so we want to change lanes for I don't really know why. Uh, we had a car coming up, uh, but the Tesla saw it, you know, really early. And wow, right when they're out of the way, we move over. So that's really good. Uh, just the two lane changes we've had so far, I can tell that there have been improvements. And it's going to be a little weird here, though, because we're like, we were going faster than them, but barely. And now people are going to be behind us. You want to increase it to 78 now? All right, so now, now we're going to go with the speed we wanted, which is 78. Are you allowed to do that? Well, yeah, because that's the speed I want. <laughs> um, I've, a lot of people have said, just if you need to do stuff, do it. But that's why we're going to the grading system, so it's not just a pass-fail. 
Um, so now that garbage truck was in front of them. Oh, okay. They were slowing down and then it moved over. So. Okay, so the garbage truck was in the way and that's why the test moved over. I didn't notice that. And so now we're getting passed on the right. So going to be a little strange here. Hopefully the car will just move out of the passing lane. But when I was testing this earlier, it didn't seem to ever want to do that. I'm not sure why. Um, so I hope that it does it. Okay, so luckily, at least right now, we are going faster than someone. So we're using the passing lane to pass. But I'm really hoping once we get past this blue car, Tesla wants to get out of the passing lane. It used to be like really quick about it. All right, I look like a old person or something. Okay, once these people pass, I will put my turn signal on to move out of the way. There we go. Turn signal is on and immediately the Tesla moves over. So that's good uh, that it moved over when I put the turn signal on, but very, very, very bad that it's just sitting in the passing lane getting in people's way. Okay, so another lane change. This guy is going slow. And we also got the van who I think wants to come over here. Uh, but this is fine because now we're not in the passing lane so I really don't care all that much. Okay, now we are going back in the passing lane which I'm gonna kind of dread for the rest of this drive. We were pretty far from that guy but the car detects really early when people are going slower than you. Uh, I would have waited and gotten a little closer but Whatever, we're trying to let the car do everything here. Passed on the right again, no good. She doesn't seem to care though, she's smoking a cig and... All right, I'm hitting the accelerator because I want to get out of the way. Very awkward and annoying. And then I'm just gonna get out of the passing lane when I pass this person manually. Now I'm on Hardware 2.5 and some other people, well one other person has said on Hardware 3 that their car is still getting out of the passing lane. It's really hard to prove that mine won't do it anymore because you never know, it might pop up at some point in the future. Um, but so far I'm, I mean I've driven I think got to be close to 40 miles now on this version and not once has it offered to get out of the passing lane. So that's super annoying and it makes it pretty much like the on-ramp to off-ramp where you know I keep my hands on the wheel but where I don't do anything besides a hand on the wheel, that makes it pretty much impossible because the car is just gonna get stuck in the passing lane forever, unless it has a slow car in front of it that it wants to get around. Okay, so we've had, well, that was weird. We had a turn signal to the left for no reason. We're good, we're good. So we've had pretty smooth sailing so far. We're going into a construction zone and you can see this lane is ending. And look at my car is slowly moving over. There's a barrel in the lane. Oh, and the car avoids it. Oh, did you see that? That was scary. That was insane. It went, no indicator. Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. No indicator. The barrel was in our lane and it went over the line to avoid that barrel and got back in the lane. I've never seen anything like that. I'm like so excited. So, very cool. I'm freaking out. We've had. You're so nerdy. I, it's so cool. Did you think it was? And it was so smooth. The car just very casually, like, oh, this barrel's in my way. Let's let's avoid that. So, real smooth sailing so far, uh, besides some crappy lane changes. But now we're getting into some construction territory, and uh, I think it, based off of that, that barrel was literally in our lane. Um, now, with <laughs> are you freaking out over there? You're panicking. So with hardware, <laughs> good thing I'm driving. With hardware 2.5. There was the update where the cones get detected. Look at all these lanes de detected. That looks so cool. Um, on Hardware 2.5, it does not display the cones here, but it does detect them. The camera sees all those barrels, all those cones. It just doesn't show them to me on the screen. So as you could just see, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Uh, the, the car will avoid those things, um, but it just doesn't display them, so it sees them. So as we go through the construction, we shouldn't have any problem, uh, but I will be ever vigilant, hands on the wheel. If there are people working, I may take over for that because, you know, no reason to mess around with that stuff. Uh, but let's see how the car handles the construction. Okay, so we had um, steering screw up. The speed kept, which is weird, I have no idea. I guess I got confused by the open lane to the right. So that's not good at all. Um, we'll turn that back on. Really weird. 
All right, so we're going around this slow guy. There's only two lanes here. I mean, we do have our speed set way more than him. So that was a good, fast lane change. So the lane changes when it does them have been really, really good on this update so far. Okay, so we are technically getting out of the passing lane here, but again, it's only doing it to get into the faster lane, so because these slow people are here. So again, I'm, I'm convinced getting out of the passing lane on this update is completely broken. All right, so we're about to be done here. The exit's coming up in about a mile. I think that the car should take the exit, but there's a lot of construction going on, so I'm not sure if that will confuse it. So overall, um, do you have your grade ready? I don't want to influence you, your grade by saying mine. So overall, my grade's a little higher than you might expect because of that barrel dodge. I'm like blown away by that because the barrel was in our lane the, the car just went right over the lane lines like it was nothing. There was nobody in the left lane. If there was a car there, I don't know what it would have done. And it just slowly got back in our lane. It was all so calm. It was so confident. At no point that I think the car was going to hit the barrel. So that really, really impressed me. All the negatives are getting out of the passing lane is broken, which is just terrible. I am so, like, sad by that. But at the same time, I know we'll get another software update probably within a week or two weeks. And that'll be fixed. So not that big of a deal. But for the current time, it, it is a big deal. Um, okay, so it says we're going to get off here, but the exit's not yet. Um, so overall, I'm giving it a B. And if it wasn't for that barrel dodge, I'd probably be closer to like a D or a C. Um, but, but a B, the lane changes that it did do, so it's completely missing our exit. So let's go with B minus. I just changed my grade. Uh, <laughs> it was going to miss the exit. Um, so the lane changes that it did do were really, really good. They are more confident, they are faster. Whenever I told it to do a lane change, it was great. It kept the speed, it kept its lanes perfectly. It's just getting out of the passing lanes broken. Um, and that's that's super annoying and makes it, um, makes the, you know, not doing anything kind of not possible. Um, so what's your grade? I was gonna say B minus also actually. All right, Stephanie agrees with me. She gives it a B minus, so that's pretty awesome. Remember, there would be a poll. I think it's up here, it's up here. I don't know, somewhere. Uh, Vote, vote in the poll. Tell me what you think, what grade you're giving the car. Uh, overall, the update is cool besides, you know, broken stuff, but I'm excited for the next one that fixes it, and we'll have a lot of fun with that. So, thank you for watching this one. I will see you in the next video.